<laughs> Today we're gonna have a pumpkin launch. That is our pumpkin launch. <laughs> oh, and the entire notion of a railgun with Chris's uh, Chris's designs. <laughs> why, why don't you turn so the the audience can see your hair? Yeah, that's fantastic. Looks like a zebrafish. <laughs> the zebrafish is the one that uh, has no regard for his fingers, so he's the one pulling the trigger. <laughs> so Zach, uh, you know you're a member of the. Uh, Society of Physics students, and uh, you aided in the construction of yes. this trebuchet. No. Uh, Ballista. Now, Taylor, as a viewer and non-member of the Society of Physics students, um, what are you most excited about about the pumpkin I'm most launch? Most excited about watching pumpkins explode on the ground. That's Anything else? No, no, that's, that's about that's it. That's pretty much your purpose in that's, life, okay. That's, that's it. Is, uh, is there any, uh, you know, any uh, crash course, any, you know, fillers you want to do, fill-ins for any of us who don't know uh, any of the schematics behind this trebuchet? Uh, uh, basically, it's a cable with four springs. The cable retracts the springs. Pumpkin goes in colander. Springs are released. Pumpkin goes flying. Springs aren't released, the cable's released. If we release <laughs> yeah. the springs, then nothing. <laughs> Dan. As a non-member of the Society of Physics students, is there anything that you're expecting well, or I, hope to see I in the I am a member. He is a member of the Society <laughs> of Physics students. Did you help in the construction of this trebuchet? No, I helped in the criticism. In, in the, the, uh, what did the you, what <laughs> did you, what did you criticize? Well, <laughs> Uh, just the calculation that they calculate the pump would go a half mile. And what calculation was that? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> and uh, what role did you play? I helped with well, I design, really construction, like moving. Calculations? I, yeah. Uh, do you think the wind will add any uh, vector forces that were unaccounted for? Uh, nothing In your equations. Is anything unaccounted for? <laughs> Are there unaccounted for, unaccounted for forces and or equations that you didn't account for? I didn't account for the things I don't know about. There are known knowns, there are known unknowns, there are unknown knowns, and unknown unknowns. Will the wind add an extra vector force that was unexpected during the trebuchet launching? Hopefully vector force not towards my direction. <laughs> Agree. I emit like some strange like curl f operator field that makes it go perfectly. Does anyone know what the hell they're doing? Um, I would be pleased if I'm not murdered by one of the machines. Uh, it's a subconscious thing. If you don't Optimistically? Due to the colder temperatures of the elasticity of the springs and the, uh, the viability of the structure, uh, because the cold temperatures cause it to be more brittle. Few people know this, but actually they stored it in the parking garage last night. Ryan, in a freak accident last night, got his uh, hands, flesh melted off, and now it looks with bones. It's terrible. Kind of cool, but terrible. Uh, as a side note, I would like to document that if this machine does break uh, on the day of composition, both Michael and Matt owe me a dollar apiece. And, and if uh, not, so you owe us dollars. dollars. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's all fair, but now it's... And yeah. he might die. <laughs> hey, no. uh, and remember, remember, if we saying. do get hurt, we'll have to work out some sort of package when we There'll pay our bills. Okay, okay, but... Okay. There's always that chance. Something like this horribly, horribly, horribly wrong. <laughs> so would you like to give me my dollar now, or... Uh, I'm also a horn blower on the team. <laughs> That one fits. Okay. No, that's yeah, nice. Uh, Excellent fit. That's a nice fit. That one works? That's a good one. Hmm. Hmm. Down before you go. All right. Well, okay. no. We're not going right yet. Well, Just put it in right, Peter. Nice. That's nice. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. Okay. Oh, yeah. I don't. And pumpkin number three. Oh, oh there you oh, go. Oh, they fit. Uh, oh, yes. They all fit. Right. That's wood. What? Yeah. That'd be wood. Yeah. Yep. Here, Nick, take a turn. Pulling that really. What? Take a turn. I'm going to stop. Oh, yeah. well, when do you want me to stop, Abbott? <laughs> no, no, yeah, keep going. Keep going, keep going. This is nothing. How much? How much further did you go? We went a lot. Someone keep an eye on those springs. Um, I'm looking at them. They're not unparalleled. Oh, check, just check the bottom. Oh, oh, oh. 
Bottom right one? Oh, that one. No, it's curled back around. No, it's not. Oh, no, there was good. Should we, give it a, should we give it a soft lunch from here? Yeah, I'd say goggles. this is a good one. How far did you go last lunch? night? Should I go? All right, farther than this. this. Then why not go that's, Yeah, that's not very far. Loaded. Matt, I think we should go farther. I think so, too. Well, this is only launch number one, though. Wait. Okay, launch number one, test launch. Hey, Mississippi. <laughs> Four, three, two, one! Yeah! <laughs> no. Yeah. no, it did. It's a light launch. Any comments on the first launch? <laughs> it was a weak launch, but we've planned it we're, that way. We're, we're showing draw, it off later. We're gonna do fall draw next time. Okay. Right. Basically, stand on it any way you can. Well, yeah, but right now I'm standing on the anchor. Huh? Load of pumpkin. Uh, crowd over there. Uh, hey, uh, look out! Wait, wait, wait. I, uh, I come this way. Move that away. All right, come on, give me a countdown. Yeah, go for it. One, four, three, two, one. <laughs> what can we do to tilt it? Um, soft back. Can we, uh, can we lift the legs in the front up? Yes, we can. Are we going to hold them? The wood! Can we get a small update on the modifications that we've just made? At the moment, we're uh, sending the wire to the come along underneath the back wood on the list. In order to try to get a better upward angle. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at that angle. Yeah, actually, this is the original yeah, angle. This is the original angle. Intended for until we realized we needed more power and brought the come along back. The what? The come along. It's the crank. This. Oh yeah. Okay. The crank. The cracking part than the usual arrow. Hey, can we get another body up here? I'm doing some stuff. Hey, that'd be a perfect place. <laughs> Good camera angle. All right, you're gonna have to tell me when to this stop. This could be bad. We'll tell you. Uh, how if are I you doing? die, the, the ends of the springs hits. are still holding. Keep <laughs> going. <laughs> Someone uh, hand me a pumpkin. It's probably a good place to stop. All right, give it one good crank. Watch it quick. Okay, are we ready? We're good. Okay, give another crank. One more. Okay, now stop. All right, someone give me a countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. But the modification, did it help? If we could have done that, uh, the modification yeah. definitely helped returning it to the original designed angle. Got us a lot closer to the optimal angle to send something through the air, so you know. It goes far. It's that simple basic physics that I failed out of.